Hey guys, it's me. I am back. And on this edition, this is another one box uh, hoard I got. Now, as you can tell, there's no silver in here. But this was obviously somebody's collection. All these to the on the left, these coins here, those are all excellent specimens. Excellent specimen coins. And the MS 60, 65, or 63 maybe. And um, quite a few of them. Well, we got 20 of them all together. And we got 10 proofs. And uh, a few Nipsies mixed in here. A couple of Nipsies here and some proof Nipsies. I got three proof Nipsies, I believe. Huh? Maybe four. I don't know. Got quite a few of them. But um, this is out of one $500 box of half dollars. Obviously, somebody's collection uh, that got dumped. Maybe it was a uh, passing or something. Somebody didn't know what to do with them. But this is why I uh, hunt coins and collect coins. These, most likely, most of these coins are going to be upgrades to my um, collections that I already have. Most of these. Wouldn't be surprised. I might already have some dupes, some doubles in here. But they'll go in like secondary albums, third albums, whatever, whatnot. But um, actual value... For the specimen coins, range anywhere around, conservatively, around $3. Conservatively. Some can fetch up to 6 depending on the buyer, whatever or whatnot. But conservatively, conservatively, we're going to say $3 each. And I got 20 of them, so that's a potential $60 value right here. $60 value, just in these specimen uh, clad coins. Now, these... Proofs over here, I got 10 of them, and conservatively, again, these are valued at around $5 each. Some can fetch more, upwards of 10 to almost $15. Um, but these are all in great shape, except for this one got a little scar right there. I guess that was uh, due to the rolling machine, whatever or whatnot. So right now we're looking at potential... Um, $50 over here, potential $60 over here. So, a value of approximately $110 out of the $500 box. So, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start sorting these, uh, packing them away. Maybe I got some hole fillers here. I don't know. We'll see. But, yo, thanks for watching. Keep on hunting. And always remember... To find something, you got to look for it first. Now, uh, oh, also, I use these to get the, uh, got the red book and then the PCGS book uh, to give me just a basic uh, price. Like I said, I'm being conservative with the $3 price and conservative with the $5 price here. So, again, find something you will. Search first, you must. All right, hope you enjoyed and keep on hunting. All right, have fun.